I, it was brought to my attention by a couple of students that I didn't have answers to uh, application exercises 6-4 through 6-6 six, six posted, and I've um, added answers to those problems, but I wanted to explain how I got there. Uh, the first one, 6-4, is hopefully a pretty straight review, but let's do that just as a warm-up to the later ones that are somewhat new and somewhat harder. The question goes on and asks, um, what are Firm 2's uh, total expenditures on compliance, including cleanup costs? So uh, we know that um, Firm, I'm going to show cleanup costs gradually, Firm 2 cleans up uh, 14 units of pollution, and that the last unit cleaned up cost 1400 to clean up. There's this marginal cost function, like so. And we know that the area underneath that cost, marginal cost function is the total cost. So remembering that, that uh, the area of a triangle is 1 half times base times height, 1 half times 1,400 times 14. That's equal to, I have that written down, that's 98. So 9800 uh, in cleanup costs, but a actually total costs of abatement, it's equal to 9800 in cleanup costs, but they actually get revenue from selling those, those permits. So we'd, sub we'd net out the, the permit uh, revenues. So they get uh, they sell four permits at fourteen hundred each. That's fifty six hundred. 
uh, in revenues, and the total cost of abatement is 4200 So that's, that's where I got those answers. So the next, the next problem asks us what happens when demand for permits increase. And I, I have a few steps to, to answer this one. I'm sure there's an easier way, but the way that my brain works on these problems, I, I had a couple steps to answering this one. So this, this starts with the same situation we had before, but then it asks what happens when there's another firm um, it turns out it's going to be a demander of permits and, and it's willing to pay $1,600 per ton, or sorry, $1,600 for any permit it can get because that's its cleanup cost. So um, the way I find easiest to do this is to derive a demand and supply for permits and then just add the new firm to it. So the way that's done is as follows. From the, uh, from, from the, Initial problem, um, notice that I've got along the x-axis the amount of total cleanup. I couldn't get my graphing software to put, you know, firm one's cleanup going right to left. But we have firm, sorry, firm two's cleanup going right to left. We have firm one's cleanup going left to right, and we know that firm two's cleanup moves right to left. The total amount of cleanup is 21, and so any any uh, any quantity represents an allocation of cleanup responsibility between firm one and firm two. The, the initial permit allocation uh, is firm one has nine and firm two has ten. So we're, we start here. Uh, firm one has to clean up 11 units of pollution and firm two has to clean up 10. Well, we see that firm one's willingness to pay is 2,200, these, these units on the y-axis in this graph are in, in thousands, um, and firm, firm two is willing to sell that a permit uh, for uh, 1,000, so there's gains from trade. And indeed, we know that through trade, the two firms will get to this point where, for, where permits cost 1,400 each, and there's four sold. So how do we know it's four? We go from 11 to seven. Um, the, the cleanup of firm one goes to, from 11 units to seven. Well, I can reorganize that information. Um, this information comes from the marginal cost of cleanup for firm one and firm two, counting firm one from the left to go to the right, counting firm two from the right going left. I can reorganize this information into supply and demand for permits. All right, so, um, so for, for the supply and demand, I've reorganized that information. Firm one's demand for permits is just derived from their marginal cost function. Go back to the previous slide if you want to see how that's done. Uh, firm two's supply is also derived from their marginal cost of cleanup function. And supply and demand initially, before there's firm three, clear at $1,400 per permit, four permits sold. So that's, that's a, I hope, a fairly easy way to see this. Now, when we've got it in this form, adding, ad, adding firm three to the picture, we see that firm three is willing to pay more than the market clearing par price uh, when there's just two firms. So firm Firm three is going to outbid firm one for some permits. And indeed, the demand curve is going to, the new demand curve is going to be the original demand curve from zero to three permits. But then the demand curve is just going to be a flat line at firm three's willingness to pay of $1,600. So the new intercept, the new uh, supply and demand uh, equilibrium is going to be with six permits sold. The price of a permit is $1,600. And um, so, and and that's our our outcome. Um, we know that if well, we can see that firm one buys three permits, firm three buys three permits, and firm um, firm two sells a total of six permits. So. 
Firm 1, without any trading, would have had to clean up 11. They buy three permits. Now they have to clean up eight. Firm 3 started with 10 um, units of pollution, bought three permits, so they now have to clean up seven. Firm 2 sold. They started with 10 permits. They sold um, They sold six of them. So they, they, their cleanup responsibility increases from 10 to 16 as a result. So that's, that's our answer. Um, practice this one. Sorry that this screencast is coming sort of late, but um, hopefully you have time to do some practice on these.